57-year-old Fernando Padilla has pulmonary fibrosis, an incurable scarring of his lungs. Once a carpenter lifting 100-pound beams, now Fernando struggles just to breathe. Right now I can't. I can't wash my car. I can't, I can't uh, break the yard. I, I can't do nothing. Tonight, Fernando is making history at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. Fernando is the first patient in the country to undergo a double lung transplant using a groundbreaking organ transportation technology. It is a revolutionary technology in a way that uh, organs are now being preserved in a way that was never possible. For decades, donor lungs have been transported in a cooler on ice. Fernando's new lungs arrive still warm, still breathing in a box. The lungs are getting oxygen, the lungs are getting blood, they're kept warm, and they are as close as possible as they could be left in a, in a live state. When the lungs arrived in a breathing state, it is so real to see an organ that is, uh, that is moving and breathing. A remarkable sign even for some of us who have been in the field for several decades. They got a new technology of bringing them still, still breathing and stuff. And I think that'd be better than, than trying to wake them back up again. And I just, I'm just following technology, that's all. This new breathing lung technology is now in the pivotal phase of a worldwide clinical trial. It comes on the heels of a similar breakthrough technology at UCLA, where doctors transport warm, nourished, beating hearts. We're hoping that this study, it is a, a study, does show uh, improvement in, uh, in outcomes as far as how these lungs work when they're transplanted into, into our patients. Big breath. Three months after his historic operation, Fernando is grateful to the donor and to the donor family and walking without an oxygen tank two miles a day. I'm feeling real good. Feeling uh, stronger, getting stronger every day. Doctors hope this new technology, if proven effective, may actually improve donor lung function and allow for longer travel distances, making more organs available to save more lives. I'm Nancy Williams.